dolls and gents, I wanted to do another quick haul for you guys. You're like, you just freaking did an August haul of randomness, right? I know. I did some more shopping. I went to the Cosmetic Trend Show at Perimeter Mall in Nordstrom last Friday. So I did a bunch of shopping. Well, not a bunch, but I got some really nice products that I want to show you guys. And I also got a new pair of shoes from Shoemit that I want to show you guys because I think this will be perfect for fall. I love wedges and I love Aztec print things. And I thought these wedges were so freaking cute. What do you guys think about these? Do you like these? And what's the name of these? These are the Kristen Aztec Multiple Shoes. And these are a size six and a half. I normally wear between a six and a half to seven, depending on the brand. With Shoemint, I definitely wear a six and a half. Seven is too big. I have my Chloe pumps in a seven, and they're just a tad bit too big. So I absolutely love the six and a half, and I love these shoes. I cannot wait to include this in a future outfit of the day because I'm going to be bringing back Fit Fridays. If you guys are excited about me bringing back Fit Fridays, definitely thumbs up this video so I know you guys are waiting for it. My first Fit Friday should be posted this Friday, so definitely stay tuned for that. So yeah. Shoemit monthly subscription website, $79.98 per month or per shoe. You can skip for the month as long as you do it before the fifth of every month. Their shoes are made by Steve Madden, so they're absolutely comfortable. They look great. They feel great. They're great quality. Love them. During the Cosmetic Trend Show, they showcased the micro delivery triple acid brightening pill from philosophy and i knew right off the bat i wanted this this retails i think for 68 bucks but they had this on sale for 50 and i wanted to pick it up now if you guys are wondering what this does it helps with any uneven skin tone on your face it helps with hyperpigmentation it also helps with acne scarring and i believe it also helps with age spots and um fine lines as well so it's great if you're my age it's great if you're an older woman and I have only used one of these so far I noticed my skin texture felt a lot more smooth after and I didn't have any sort of sensitivity after using this so I really like this and I will let you guys know what I think about it when I've used the whole box up okay I also picked up the Purity Made Simple Cleanser. I got their big one. This is their 16 fluid ounce, so this is going to last me quite a while. I like to use this after a long day when I've had makeup on my face. It really helps to break down all the gunk that makeup causes on your skin. So I really, really like this cleanser. It smells good. It's an all-in-one cleanser. It's a cleanser and a toner, and it also works as kind of like a makeup wipe. So it's a great cleanser if you have not tried this already. During the Cosmetic Trend Show, they had a special where you get a gift with purchase if you spend $75 or more. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the Homemade Pumpkin Pie Shampoo, Shower Gel, and Bubble Bath. This stuff smells so good, and I mean, Halloween is coming up. It is now fall. I absolutely love this. I cannot wait to use this. I have not used this yet. So if you guys have tried their pumpkin pie shower gel, let me know what you guys think about it because it smells pretty freaking good to me. I just want to like eat pumpkin pie after this. I absolutely love this smell. It smells so good. I hope it's moisturizing on the skin. If you've used a Philosophy shower gel, let me know if it's moisturizing on your skin. Okay, so like I said, if you spend $75 or more, you get a gift with purchase. So it comes with this nice bag, and it's purple. You guys know I love purple. It comes with a lip gloss. This is the Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Gloss, and it's purple. It comes with the Eyes Wide Open, which is a great eye gel. I've been using this every night. I love this. It also comes with Take a Deep Breath, which is a gel moisturizer, and it brings more oxygen to the skin. I've been loving this moisturizer. I think I'm going to buy a full size of this. It also comes with their Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. I've used this once. It's not that great to me. If you've tried this and you love it, let me know how you're using it and how often you use it. 
then it also came with a shampoo, bath, and shower gel. This one is Love Sweet Love, which I have not used, but I can't wait to use this. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I picked up a Chanel Rouge Allure lipstick, and this one is a 99 Pirate. And this is a universal red lipstick. It looks good on a bunch of skin tones. My friend Linda, and she has a channel. I'll link it right here so you guys can check it out. She wore this lipstick, and it looks absolutely gorgeous on her, and she's very fair. So if it looks good on her and it looks good on me, I'm of a deeper complexion. I know it's going to look good on a wide range of skin tones. And this is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of Max Ruby Woo, but I don't like Ruby Woo. So it's just one of those universal reds. I think every girl needs a Chanel red lipstick in their life. I know these are pretty pricey, but if you can get your hands on a Chanel lipstick, ah, just love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, lastly, I made my first Yves Saint Laurent purchase. And I have never been the type to like look at this brand because first of all, I always figured, you know what, with foundation and concealer, they probably don't have a shade that's deep enough for me. And they're just always so expensive and I'm like, you know what, uh-uh, not getting it. So during the cosmetic trend show, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna stop by the counter because they had a makeup artist there and he was absolutely amazing. You know, he sold me. And I'm going to be making some more YSL purchases because of him. And I don't even know what his name is. I'm so upset. I wish I would have got his name. Well, he, he did give me his name, but I don't remember. The main reason I wanted to stop by the YSL counter was to try out the Touche Eclat Radiant Touch Pen. And my shade in this is a number seven. I absolutely love this. If you guys want to see how I use this product, definitely, definitely let me know in the comments. But... It comes with just a brush, and I absolutely love this for an everyday basis rather than doing this like bright, lightened concealer under my eye. This works perfectly for me, just covering the dark circles and making me look awake. So absolutely love this product and this purchase. I also picked up their Shocking Mascara, and I didn't plan on getting this. Matter of fact, I had never even heard of this mascara. The one that I'm normally used to um, seeing is the, is Faux something. I can't even remember what the name is. But he applied this mascara to my lashes on top of my Dior Blackout Mascara, and let's just say the stuff was amazing. Now, the tube that I have seems really clumpy, so I don't know if this maybe was already opened or if I got a bad batch. Let me know if yours is kind of clumpy, if you have this mascara, because I like to know, because it doesn't apply like it did in the store when he did it for me, so I don't know. So that's my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have made any Yves Saint Laurent purchases, let me know what you love because I want to make some more purchases and I'm excited about trying a new brand. Don't you guys get excited when you like try a new brand and you really love the products? I know I do. But yeah, definitely appreciate you guys watching this video to the end. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.